welcome to LG Images Vlog PH and welcome to fascinating, interesting grammar lesson in English 9. This is a series of conditional tenses wherein you will be able to understand the use, the forms, and the structures of conditional tenses that we have in our subject. Recently, we have discussed about zero conditional or de factual conditional that states general truth and scientific facts. If you haven't watched the video, please check this out. And if you are learning English, you will find this lesson interesting and exciting because learning conditional tenses effectively is going to help you express yourselves clearly and not just that, it will also help you create sentences creatively. In today's video, we will focus on the first conditional tense in English. We will try to see how it was different from zero to the second, but most importantly, when we use one or the other. So, let's get into this lesson. First conditional tense is used to talk about superstitions belief. Like any other country, Filipinos have our own superstitions from our ancestors. Here in the Philippines, we have so many. Our relatives, most especially our parents and our lolas and lolas have told us different beliefs and superstitions to warn us or to prevent us from danger. Let's say for example, if you go straight home after attending a wake, the lysis will follow you at home. If you and your sibling marry in the same year, you will experience bad luck. And for our last example, I think this is probably one of the famous beliefs that we have here in our country. And that is, when you serve pancit in a celebration, probably the celebrant will get a long life. So that's it. Later, I'm going to discuss with you the use of this first conditional aside from the superstitious belief. Okay, now let us try to focus on the sentence structure. What have you noticed about these sentences? One of the things that you will notice is that each of the sentences has if clause and a main clause. But there are some slightly different in all of them, most especially about their tenses of the verb. And you will notice that it starts with the word if. And lastly, these are all conditional sentences. You'll see how it was different from one another. From zero to the first, to the second, and to the third. One of them shows habitual action or stating a general truth or the fact. Other is just a real, an unreal situation or others are just stating an imaginary past. But since we are done with the zero conditional, we are now going to focus on the first conditional or the type 1 conditional. Now, if we look back to our previous topic, which is the zero conditional, we use simple present verb in both clauses, in the if clause and in the result clause. But how about in this sentence? What verb will be used or what verb tense will be used in the first conditional? If the pandemic ends this year, everyone will be happy. If the pandemic ends this year is our if clause that shows a condition and is our dependent clause. While everyone will be happy is our main clause that shows the result and is our independent clause. The word end in the if clause is our simple present, while will be in the main clause is our simple future. And therefore, type 1 conditional is formed by using simple present verb in the if clause and simple future in the main clause. Do not forget that thing. That's so easy. Now that you have an idea about first conditional, let's have another example. If it's rain, it will get wet. This example is composed of two clauses. She's a quick review. When we talk about clauses, it is a group of words that includes a subject and a verb. In this sentence, you'll see that there are two clauses involved. 
The first class here is if it rains that shows a condition and the second class here is we will get wet or will get wet if we want to contract the word that shows a result. Always remember that the action in the main clause can only be happen if a certain condition is fulfilled. If it doesn't rain, we won't get wet. Now, we can change or reciprocate the position of these clauses. We can say that we'll get wet if it's rain. So still, this is a conditional sentence and is composed of two clauses, a main clause that shows the result and an if clause that shows a condition. If you notice, if you try to use this format, we don't need to add a comma to separate the clauses. If you remember, we have independent and dependent clause. Independent clause is a group of words that contains a subject and a verb. It also expresses a complete thought. In this statement, we don't need to add a conditional because it can stand alone. Dependent clause, on the other hand, is a group of words that contains a subject and a verb, but it does not contain a complete thought because of the subordinating conjunction that is placed or that is included in the sentence. Just like this one, if it's rain, the conjunction if makes the sentence incomplete. And so when we talk about English conditionals, the if clause is a dependent clause and the main clause is an independent clause. Do not forget that. Let's have another example. If you wear face mask and face shield outside, you will not get the virus. Again, if you wear face shield and face mask outside, you will not get the virus. If the frontliners get sick, the hospital will need more workers. If people ask for assistance, the government will help. The first conditional is used to talk about possible future results. And so that's one good thing about first conditional. It talks about real, possible result in the future. It may not be 100% sure, but it will automatically happen in the future. Unlike in unreal conditionals or in unreal situations, that there is no chances of getting it. Another example for possible result in the future. If the students do not pass the exam, their teacher will be sad. If Lance listens very well in the discussion about zero conditional, he will understand the lesson. And lastly, we use first conditional to talk about predictions. Say for example, if you pass the activity on time, or if you do the activity on time, you will not experience procrastination. Another example, if you understand the conditional sentence, you will proceed to the second conditional. So that's it. That is the use of first conditional to talk about superstitions, to talk about possible results in the future, and to talk about predictions. And lastly, before we end this video, do not forget the use of first conditional and of course the verb tense. So in this particular condition, we are using two clauses. One is the simple present and the other one is a simple future. Unlike in zero conditional, that we are using two clauses, two simple present tense. And that's it. That ends our discussion for today. So please stay tuned for more exclusive updates. And of course, please watch out for more conditional series. So thank you guys.